Welcome back. You're watching the late night news. On to some national news now. Ever been stuck in traffic because of VIP movement on the road? Well, it's now apparently resulted in the death of an eight-year-old in Kanpur. The child was being taken to a hospital, but the car was unable to proceed because of roadblocks erected for the Prime Minister's security. By the time the child reached the hospital, a five-minute journey which ended up taking half an hour, it was too late. The family has now written to Congress President Sonia Gandhi, alleging the city police prevented the family from taking the boy to hospital on time. It seems it has become a full-time job for the Congress to deal with its allies. One of its main allies, Sharad Pawar's NCP, is now revolting, with the party announcing that it will go on its own in poll-bound states like Kerala and Assam if the Congress does not want to go along with them. NCP General Secretary D.P. Tripathi said that the NCP will forge an alliance of secular and democratic parties in various states, particularly in Kerala and Assam, where elections are due next year. His remarks come at a time when Pawar, the minister, in charge of Agriculture and Food and Consumer Affairs portfolios at the centre, has requested Prime Minister Manmohan Singh to reduce his workload to enable him to give attention to strengthening his party. Now, the self-styled Godman can now preach in response to an application filed by Godman Nityananda that Karnataka High Court has relaxed the bail conditions pronounced on him for the charges of rape and criminal activity. With the new relaxations, the Swami also has the leisure of reporting once every 30 days to the police station instead of every 15 days. Nityananda was given bail early in June with his right to spiritual preaching and freedom of movement suspended. Nityananda is also awaiting com the coming of an application for the return of his laptop and mobile phone as well as hard disks and video cameras seized on his arrest in Himachal Pradesh. Now, after a rough two years, the domestic airline market is now showing signs of revival. This after the government showed a willingness to the increase FDI in the industry. So now, once again, the aviation job market is booming. Flying thick and fast in the domestic airline industry. Back in demand, pilots, cabin crew, ground staff, marketing executives. After two years of slowdown and job losses, hirings began slowly in February. Now it's gained full speed. Consider this, Air India has advertised for 40 pilots. Its low-cost arm, Air India Express, for 63 cabin crew posts. SpiceJet needs 30 pilots and about 75 cabin crew. Indigo needs 70 pilots and about 175 cabin crew. Goe, that has recently inducted 21 pilots, will hire 10 more and about 74 cabin crew. Jet Airways and Kingfisher are hiring staff across the spectrum. This is the time to really beef up capacities uh, to take care of the next level of, of growth from here on. So I think it just establishes the fact that uh, Indian aviation is clearly out of the travel spaces that they were in for the last four years. The hiring spree is boosted by performance in air. Between January and March, passenger traffic has increased 22% and airlines are able to fill at least 80% seats on most flights. That's against the 60% average last year. A fresh sentiment supporting the recovery, the government's willingness to allow more FDI in aviation. By considering to allow foreign carriers to invest in local airlines, the government is sending out a very strong signal of support to the local aviation industry. Experts say that this will not only help local airlines attract more funds, but it will also help raise operating standards. In Mumbai, Maloney Bhatt for NDTV. Well, time to take a short break. On the other side, Paul the Octopus might have a 100% hit record. Will he get it right this time? Stay with us to know his final pick.